Good morning. I uh, wanted to kind of visit with you uh, very briefly about the uh, football contest we had on uh, this past weekend. Uh, we played University of Houston uh, in Houston, uh, Texas. Uh, very, very tough opponent, FBS opponent, very worthy opponent. Uh, uh, very, very good football team, uh, I might say. Um, this past weekend, I thought um, the kids did play hard, but I thought we reverted back to doing some things that, uh, that we normally uh, do not do. Uh, some things that we talked about in early January. Um, we've got to get the penalty situation cleaned up. Uh, we've had uh, several penalties in the last two weeks, and, and any time you have those type of penalties and also turnovers, all you do is hurt yourself as a football team. Uh, so that's something that we addressed uh, for the second week in a row uh, on yesterday, and then also we'll talk about it again today. Uh, but I thought, I thought we made some plays, and I thought we played hard, but there's some things that we just cannot do. Uh, that we uh, that we have to get corrected. Um, University of Houston is a, a very very uh, exceptional program, and I think they do a great job. Um, Coach uh, Levine does an exceptional job coaching, and his coaches have done a great job as well. But I thought uh, the second quarter uh, was a tough quarter for us. Um, we tend to have those quarters here and there where uh, where we where we don't uh, compete like we should. And I thought just like the week prior to the third quarter, we didn't perform well. The second quarter this week, I thought uh, we had a little lull in there. But um, we're still excited. We're excited uh, about the opportunity uh, that we have before us. Um, uh, we still have all of our goals in front of us to, uh, to achieve. Uh, so it's up to us to make sure that we put our best foot forth and clean things up uh, before we get to that point. Um, but uh, this week, we're playing, playing uh, Bethune-Cookman. Uh, who uh, is the number one team in black college football. Uh, they've been very, very successful the last uh, four or five seasons. Brian Jenkins is their head football coach, a really good friend of mine. Uh, he spent some time here in Louisiana at UL Lafayette uh, with Ricky Bussell uh, at one point, uh, but is a great, great coach. Uh, has been in NFL Europe, in the National Football League, and also uh, at FBS universities. Uh, very, very fast team. I'm going to allow my coaches to talk a little bit about them. Uh, but they're a very, very fast and athletic team, uh, very athletic quarterback as well, and then fast on the defensive front also. Uh, so it's going to be a challenge, um, but like any other challenge, uh, we accept the challenge, and we're looking forward to going up there and, and playing on Saturday. Are there any questions? Coach, you mentioned uh, progression from game one to game two. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you... What are your thoughts on your progression from one to two? Well, I thought we went back. I thought we regressed. Uh, um, and, and that's what was disappointing for me. Um, um, we had penalties in the first game, but I thought we played hard uh, and we didn't get into what we call the sideshow. Uh, but those, those unsportsmanlike conduct penalties and, and undisciplined type penalties that we, that we put on display this past weekend, I think is something that we, we know better not to do. You know, so... Uh, so we have to go back to the drawing board because we have to tend to remember that these kids are 18 to 22 year old and sometimes they'll revert back to doing things that, that we didn't want done, you know. So, uh, so it's just a matter of us continuing to, to harp on it, to harp on it over and over again and get it cleaned up because we got to get it cleaned up. I mean, uh, I think we have uh, solid talent and good talent. Uh, we, do, we do have a little bit of a depth issue, but I, th I think we have good talent and we have the ability to be successful. Uh, we just have to put it all together. What were the majority of the mistakes that, that they're making? Uh, the majority of the mistakes that we're making is, is the penalties before, before the, the snap count and then also after the whistle. Uh, normally within the game, you know, there may be a face mask here or there or it may be a holding call here, and there, here or there, but that's not necessarily our issue. Our issue is before the snap, jumping off sides, and then after the snap, doing things undisciplined. You know, so... Uh, so we have to clean that up, you know, and um, it was a little bit out of character for our kids uh, to revert to revert back to doing things that, that we thought we addressed in January, uh, but we'll get it cleaned up. How do you fix, I guess, the, a little bit of the, the turnover problem? I think there's been 11 so far right. in two games, mm -hmm. and despite the defense, I think, taking away seven so far, right. which they're doing a good job there, I mean, the offense keeps giving the ball right, right. back. Well, that's something that we, that we work on every, every day, and I think – what we have to do is we have to focus on understanding that you actually have the ball in your hand. You know, from time to time, we have kids trying to do so so much with the football and make a play that they tend to forget about or be conscious of the ball being in their hand. And we have to just continue to work on that. 
Um, and then make sure we put the right people in there that's going to hold on to the ball also. Did the uh, quarterback situation clear, clear itself up at all against Houston? Uh, I think we did. Um, uh, we wanted to make sure that we, that we really, really, you know, uh, put our heads together with it and then allow them to really kind of work it out under the lights. Uh, we're going to start Steven Johnson uh, and, and allow him to go. Uh, that does not mean that the other, other two guys are out of the picture by no means, uh, but uh, we're going to give him a shot and give him a go and let him, uh, let him take the reins and see how far he can take us. What has he done to kind of separate himself from, uh, from the, the other two? Well, we think that he, uh, he does a, a little bit better job at this particular time of really throwing the football. Uh, all three guys do a good job of making sure we end the right play. And, uh, and getting things going. Uh, but we just feel that he, uh, he's spinning the ball a little bit better than the other two at this particular time. And uh, we're going to ride the wave and see what happens. How short of a leash will he be on? <laughs> well, there, there will be a leash. I don't know how short uh, because we do have a senior with a lot of experience, you know, behind him. And then also a junior that's played a lot of football also, too. Uh, but. Uh, you know, just like anything else, you know, there is a leash. You know, I just don't know how short. You know, um, uh, we're going to play that by you. Coach, I apologize for being late. I'll okay. be gassers afterwards. <laughs> uh, two games into this thing, how would you evaluate your team? Well, I think uh, evaluate the team as far as uh, how hard they're playing. I think they're playing extremely hard. Um, I think they've bought into to doing things the way that we want them done. Uh, I think the concern has been the turnovers, the penalties. Uh, which continually uh, tend to amount, you know, and we've got to make sure that we reduce that greatly. Talk about this week's matchup. I, I know it's pretty good considering what they've already done. I mean, they have right. a pretty impressive win on the record. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very worthy opponent. Bethune Cookman is a heck of a football program. Um, I know Coach Jenkins personally, and he's a great football coach. Uh, it's going to be a tough game, you know, uh, just like the other two. It's going to be a tough game, but um, we put they put their pants on just like us, and we're going to better compete and win the football game. Feel like this may be a little bit more even matchup when you are just considering the history between Grambling and Bethune, and that you are HBCUs and you're not going up against a Houston team. Right. Feel like you might be a little bit more evenly matched this week. Well, they, I tell you what, now they they're a very very good uh, football team. You know, uh, not to take anything away from from Houston, uh, but uh, but Bethune Cookman is they they're they're pretty good in their own right. You know, because um, you know on, on this level. You know, being able to uh, to you know acquire transfers and get other guys in there, you're pretty much playing against you know same level of competition. So um, I think they uh, they're just as good. Uh, they wouldn't be number one for nothing. So it's going to be a fight, definitely. Whenever you start 0 and 2, there's always that concern about a team morale. How do you right. think the team has responded so far? Well, this is a strong group of kids. You know, um, uh, these kids are very very tough. Uh, they bounce back well, and even if you look at the ball game uh, towards the end, you know we're down 47 nothing at the end, and uh, well 40 to nothing at that particular time. And our defense went in there and and got on the goal line and stopped them. And that says a lot about the character of these kids. Uh, so we're excited about that, and that's something to build on. Uh, you always have to have something to build on, and we think we have something to build on. I don't believe in throwing. Uh, the tape away and, and burning it. I don't believe in that. I believe you take a look at it because there's something to learn from every mistake that you make, and we have to learn from that. You guys are still in a, in the midst of kind of a, you know, a couple of month road trip, I guess, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, does this kind of wear on you guys not being able to kind of be home and, and with the relaxing comforts of uh, Tigerland? I guess behind you. Well, guys? we don't we don't look at it that way. Uh, of course, you know, everyone would want to play at home. Uh, for 10 straight weeks, uh, but we don't look at it that way. You know, uh, we relish the opportunity to play football, whether we play it here or whether we play it in Texas or whether we play it in Florida. Uh, just having the opportunity to play is always good. Uh, and then also being able to go on the road, you know, there's a, there's a lot more security uh, and a lot more situations that you don't have to deal with, you know, when you, when you travel, you know, ticket requests and all those different things, and then you're allowed to stay in the same headquarters with your teammates. So there's something good about being on the road also, too. So we just got to put it together. And um, I really, really believe in these guys. I believe in this team. I believe in this coaching staff. And uh, we're going to do whatever it takes in order to get there. One more question. What would you say the biggest, maybe like X factor thing that stands out about 
Saturday in terms of Bethune Cookman? Like, what do you think that y'all need to accomplish to win? I think the most important thing for me is mistake free, uh, because teams, great teams like Bethune Cookman, uh, as was Houston, as was the other teams that we face. They do a good job of capitalizing on your mistakes, and Bethune is the same way. They're, they're a very, very athletic bunch, very fast bunch, and they play well together. Uh, but what they do better than, than most teams is they just capitalize on your mistakes, and they don't make mistakes. So we have to stop killing ourselves, stop beating ourselves, and take away uh, takeaways from that.